Hello, everybody out there. We are the middle-aged guys, and we bullshit, well, actually about a lot of stuff. <laughs> I am the Reverend. The theme here. And Great Mouse One. Earlier this week, actually on Tuesday, November 14th, uh, Sega went ahead and they put out a brand new Japanese survey where they had a whole bunch of, um, they had hosted up the survey and they had asked their fans in Japan what they would like, basically what characters and what franchises would you like uh, revived that happened to exist or happened to have uh, seen a title pre-2014. So they weren't looking for something, any anything current or anything like that. They're actually hoping to go ahead and tap into um, a little bit of something that was in the nostalgic vein. Now, this shouldn't be too much of a surprise because supposedly back in 2015, uh, Sega had promised and, and announced out to the world that they were going toward a more fan-oriented direction. Um, you know, and people saw stuff like, oh, Sonic Mania is coming out uh, and a few other things. Uh, maybe not exactly what, what folks were, were asking for, but this particular week, what they said was that they wanted to go ahead, get the results of this survey through, find out what everybody was looking forward to as far as um, uh, their most hoped for, you know, character character or franchise that you want, uh, they wanted brought back from the, from the old Sega um, library. And based off of that, they said that, hey, look, we're going to go ahead and announce it out. And then they were going to make decisions on what sort of, series of franchises they were going to work toward uh, based off of that, which makes things really interesting because I have a few theories as far as what they possibly could do. Um, uh, some of it really kind of like cheap and dirty as far as what they, what they might want to do. But before I go into my theories, um, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Floor is open. Look, as far as Sega and everything, and – surveys I, I really hope that they take in consideration that there are a lot of games out there that people want to see return there are a lot of franchises that people want to see return and done correctly by Sega standards mm -hmm. not pawned off to any other publisher or developer to make their creations look like shit you know or sound like shit or play like shit uh, look, we're going to get to what we want as franchises and stuff in, 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 any, in any given moment. But what I'm saying is, Vega, please understand and listen to what we suggest. Because all of your shit, especially from way back in the day, we love it. We crave it. We want to play that shit again, or we want to. We want you to continue some of those franchises. What about you, Gray Mouse? What are your thoughts, or initial thoughts, when? Well, you hear my, like that? my initial thoughts was that, oh, here we go again. You know, we we already did this survey. You know, no names mentioned Konami. And they did this, you know, and then it turned out, oh, okay, so you want Castlevania and you want uh, Metal Gear Solid. Okay, we got you. But we're going to make Pachico Machines out of it. But we're talking about a video game company this time. I, I know, so, yeah, but I, I get know. what you're saying. But, but we've we burned saying. like this before is what I'm Yes, saying. I agree so, with you. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I mean, they, forgive me for, for, no, actually, yeah, I have reserves for that. But, you know, I have to echo everything that the theme said, you know. Um, if the company, Sega, is serious about um, going back retro, you know, it seems like retro is everything, what the popular in thing now, you know, if they go back to, did you say pre, pre-19 what? No, they were asking for, they were asking for them, um, they're asking the, the survey people, the, the people who are responding to the survey, to go ahead and tell them what series, what series franchises or characters that they were interested in uh, that, that were released before 2014, pre-2014. Pre-2014, okay. I mean, you got a whole list of stuff. I mean, uh, just coming, oh my gosh, man. I mean, uh, Yakuza. I mean, anyway, I'm just saying, you got all these, these franchises that, that 
Sega has control over, just do it right. You know, listen to what the, the fans are saying and make some money. You know, I mean, we gamers would be more than happy to give us give you our money for some good ass shit. Just listen to what we want, make that shit, and your money's ours. It's it's, it's just that simple. I, I can't say anything more than that. I think this particular one, it's a really, really easy way to go ahead and get market yeah. feedback as far as, um, you know, uh, a pulse of what, what they, what they could sit there and say, Oh, this is an easy metric. I could, I could plug it into a spreadsheet, create a bar graph <clears throat> and then show to, you know, uh, bean counters in, in an executive boardroom. Hey, this is what our surveys show. And this is what people are, are most interested in. Now, the, this particular survey, it actually was only open for a little less than a week, and they closed it down. It's already the 20th in Japan where they said that they would go ahead and release out the results. And actually, Sega Bits, the uh, online blog forum uh, um, dedicated to Sega News and other things, they released out the top 10 results for uh, the, three, um, the three particular uh, categories that they were looking at. And it's, it's decidedly, it has a, a decidedly Japanese bend to it uh, because it was uh, um, offered out to, to the fans in Japan. But it is, kind of, it is kind of interesting to go ahead and, and look at this, all right? Uh, let me just go ahead and, and, and name, name them off because the, the, the top 10 lists are really, really short, okay? Uh, for the, the category most hoped revival, in, in other words, what – series do you want revived the most all right uh, let's start with number 10 number 10 was nights into dreams oh my god right right at the beginning yes <laughs> okay uh number nine which also is a no-brainer streets of rage hello yeah <laughs> no. next <laughs> all right number eight is skies of arcadia which yes. I would wholeheartedly agree. I'd, I'd want to see this, see another one of those. Uh, number seven, Shining Force. Mm-hmm. All right. Number six, Panzer Dragoon. Number five, Virtual Fighter. Because I think uh, Virtual Fighter, uh, Final Showdown, uh, I think they haven't done anything with that since like 2000 or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's been quite a while since the uh, last virtual fighter. All right, uh, number four, and somebody's beating them, beating them to the punch. Of this Shinmue was number four on most open revival. Shinmue. Right. Yep. All right, number three is Virtual On. Yes. And number two is Jet Set Radio. <laughs> And number one, and like you said, this is a very Japanese list, is Sakura Wars. You, All right. you know what? I cannot say anything bad about that entire list, especially yeah. the ones in the bottom, the 10, 9, 8, 7 slot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it, yeah. it obviously harkens back to, like, you know, uh, a lot more of classic uh, mid uh, excuse me, mid to late '90s days of uh, uh, of, uh, of Sega and everything out there, um, you know, and yeah, that you know, if they're following through, if they if they handle even just half the list, you know, and if that stuff makes it over stateside, I'll be happy to, to be completely honest. But let's move on to the next category, okay? This is the brand that uh, they were asking the the fans, what brand are you most invested in, okay? What have you spent the most time with? What do you have the most memories with and everything else, right? <clears throat> and like I said, it's a very Japanese, uh, Japanese uh, what's it, um, uh, bend on this one, okay? Because, uh, yeah, uh, some of these, some of these uh, on here, I, I wouldn't expect to come from a, an American fan. But number 10 is prime example. Hasune Miku. Project Diva. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Number yeah. nine. What brand they're most inv invested in? The Persona brand. And Atlas is oh. by Sega. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Number eight. Now, this is one is really, really interesting. All right. Especially considering that, you know, we live in the land of, of emulation and retro throwbacks and virtual console and everything else. Number eight is Sega Saturn. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. You, wait. you said Sega Saturn. Yeah. That's Saturn as a brand. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You see, the thing about it is, I was going to go into that, but I was like, wait a second, there's another list. So, could yeah. you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number seven is Panzer Dragoon. Yep. Okay. Number six is Yakuza. Yep. Number five is Jet Set Radio. Number four, Virtual Fighter. Yes. Number three, Fantasy Star Online. Number two is Sonic the Hedgehog, which, um, you know, what? even even with how abysmal, you know, some of the later Sonics have been, that, that's a no-brainer. And again, number one, uh, showing that this is a very Japanese list, Soccer Wars, as a brand most people are invested in. All right? Look, as far as me... Uh, the Saturn and the Dreamcast, hands down. Just yeah. those two alone. Yeah. Now, we already made a video about the Sega Genesis returning to South America. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, Elite, wow, Sega CD wasn't on it. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, listen, with those games and that fucking system that's on there, why not? Um, you know what I find very impressive is that that just shows how much people waiting for that uh, Persona 5 game. It's yeah. been delayed again, but people want, people are invested in that game, in that series. They got five games out, or they will be soon. Yep, yep. And they've got all of the spinoffs and all the stuff on the yeah. DS. The DS versions and GBA versions. That was a no-brainer right yeah. there. You know, so yeah, that one makes sense. You know, touching back on the Saturn, this is the one thing about the, the Saturn that I find really, really frustrating. All right, was that Sega in Japan on the PS2 they put out what they called the Sega Ages collection, right? Which yeah. is a series of discs which were updated versions of Sega Saturn games, mm -hmm. some of them full remakes, some of them just ports and collections. All right, uh, in fact, if you try to find the Sega Ages uh, disc. Uh, the actual Sega Saturn version of that that was put out by Working Designs. Good luck not paying three hundred dollars for that fucking thing. All right? right, but Sega themselves put out the Sega Ages collection back in like uh, the the early to, to mid two thousands, where they they released out. I think it was like thirteen fucking discs and like almost thirty games. Uh, where they redid like these Saturn titles for the PS two, and that never saw the light of day here. It's just, it's mind boggling. You know, I mean, if, if they were to go ahead and they were to revisit or even remaster or redo any of those uh, Saturn titles or hell, even make them available for some sort of uh, online virtual console or something like that, I'd be willing to spend my cash. You know what? I just had a, a thought. It just shows being that it said Sega Saturn. Yeah. So as being, as being you, you are most invested in, that is a huge plethora of games that people, so that, that should tell Sega that people were still, you know, into, and wasn't it, didn't we say on this channel that Sega Saturn was one of their quote unquote, I hate to say it, failures? You know, they moved into Dreamcast so quick from the Sega Saturn and, then it, it finds itself on this list. Like you said, uh, Reverend, mind-blowing. So, yeah. I mean, look, pay attention to your fans, Sega. People still appreciate the Sega Saturn for what it was. Yeah. People just appreciate good shit. And, yeah, Sega Saturn was good shit, excellent shit that we appreciated and that we still want. Yeah, I mean, it's something that if you think about it, if you're if you're somebody who is like growing up around that time, all right. Let's say you were in grade school around the time you had the Saturn. 
Uh, then you're talking about somebody who's in their mid to early 20s right now, or actually their mid to late 20s right now. So this is somebody who has their own money, okay? All right, and uh, they they have their own cash to spend. They may even have kids. So this is something that they, this is obviously something that they're still interested in now. Um, so that's definitely a prime demographic that you want, want to go ahead and market to, okay? Let's go ahead and cover the, the last part of the, the list, all right? The favorite character, okay, pre-2014 that they were asking for, okay? Mm. At number 10, Ulala. Yeah. Okay. At number nine, Alex Kidd. Wow. <laughs> really? Um, again, this is a Japanese list. Yes, again, this is a yeah. Japanese list, all right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Number eight, and this is this one's kind of obscure, but then again, like I said, this is a Japanese list. Arl from ah. Puyo Pop. <laughs> from Puyo Puyo. All right. Puyo Puyo. Yep. Seven, Temjin from uh from Virtual On. Six, Dr. Eggman. Of course. That's, that's gross. I, I don't see Sonic on this list, but Eggman's on there. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, five nights. Yes. Okay. Period. Yep. <laughs> Good Four. Now this is one that's kind of kind of surprising, considering. Well, okay, this will be self self explanatory when I mention it. Number four, Bayonetta. Yeah. Who is <laughs> now a Nintendo exclusive? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good because, luck. Good luck for Sega for that one. Well, it's because Sega didn't want to sit there and bankroll the. They didn't want to pay production fees for for dumb. number two. Yeah. Dumb, 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 dumb. Oh. All right. Okay. Now, get, going onward. All right. Number three, Ryo Hazuki. From Shenmue. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. His story is not finished. So no, yeah. It's not. Yep. <laughs> number two. Kazuma Kiryu from the Yakuza series. All right. His story isn't quite finished either. Right. No, it's not. Yep. All right. And then number one, and like I said, this is a very Japanese list. Segata Sanshiro, the fucking Sega Saturn mascot in Japan. Again, Sega Saturn. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Who is literally judo throwing fucking ICBM <laughs> ballistic missiles and shit? All right, yeah. Oh my god, this list. Where do I begin? Look, yeah. man, you got Shamu, you got Knights into Dreams, you got freaking Virtual On, um, Virtual Fighter. Vir I mean, I'm sorry, Virtual Fight. No, Virtual On and Virtual Fighter were yeah. there. Yeah, oh both of them. Yeah. My god, the list. Man, just pay attention. You got the Yakuza. Come on now. I, you know, I, I mean, I, 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 it would be nice if we see, like, um, some of these titles. The funny thing is that I don't know if uh, maybe the, uh, the readers, the Japanese readers who are dealing with the survey uh, weren't paying attention to, like, 2014 because some of them are a little bit more recent. Like, uh, um, there are still new Yakuza games that are coming out. Um, yeah. You know, so I... What Sega, what it sounded like Sega was trying to go ahead and reach in to see what people's thoughts and intentions were on a lot of things in their back library from, uh, from, from a little bit older titles to go ahead and deal with as far as bringing forward. Well, um, to, I'm sorry to cut you off, but to add on to that, but you're looking at Persona, Yakuza, those are old games. I mean, if you go back to the beginning, yeah. I mean, it, it, it has its, yeah, there are games coming out here soon in the future with those particular titles but those games have been those are pre-2014 games yeah That's the root of this series is. yeah yeah so, i mean i would if i was saying and i saw those games on those on this list i would think to myself, yeah we put those games out those are instant sellers people are going to buy those yeah i you know my my thing my fear is that they're going to go ahead they're going to take this all right and they're either going to do like some sort of crappy mashup RPG, like what they did with uh, Virtual Worlds uh, for the Sega Saturn back in the day, or 
they're going to sit there and put together some sort of uh, arena multiplayer fighting game like fucking Smash or, or PlayStation All-Stars. That wouldn't, uh, no, no, please don't do anything like that. You know, or, 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 or what? Or, or what? A pro, uh, another Project X Zone, Cross Zone, no. or whatever, will, will all these characters appear in one of those games? Well, Namco handles that, you know. No, but man. still, Sega is a part of that. Yeah, you know. No, I mean, that's, I think, I, I think the, the thing with, with that, I mean, if, if I were to be as pessimistic as I am, <laughs> All right. Whenever it comes to these particular sort of marketing surveys that a lot of publishers put out, um, and you know, Graham also went ahead and he mentioned Konami earlier. Um, if they were actually going to go ahead and do something with it, going toward a game, all right, the cheapest, quickest, and most expedited way that they can go ahead and like pull all of these character threads and go ahead and throw them into some sort of product that would go ahead and try to um you know satisfy everybody instead of reviving those individual um those individual franchises or those individual characters um is shit i said do something like fucking virtual world all right and make it a a fucking mashup rpg or do something like playstation all-stars or smash brothers where you sit there and you do like a a a mashup uh you know arena fighter no Uh, no. You know what? Them- if they take this information, maybe they'll make a, uh, like you said, a legacy or a legendary Sega game that, you know, like we were speaking earlier. You know, I mean, whether or not Sega will revitalize, I mean, they're already revitalizing, or not revitalize, I mean, uh, Persona and uh, Shinmu and um, Persona. Did I say Persona already? Yes. Um, Yakuza, those there's games still coming out for that, so I, I think they would probably ignore that per se, you know. But they need to start. I mean, even Knights in the Dream, even um, Knights, they they had a game out for the Wii U, I guess, or whatever here recently for that. So I want the more obscure games like Jet Set Radio, you know, those type of games, um, even Crazy Taxi. You know, I know that wasn't on the list, but virtual arms, yes. Vir- you know, fighting vipers, yes. Virtual fighter, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh but, no, no! Please don't come out with another fighter or mega mix with all these characters in it. No, I don't want to mesh. I don't want to mash up. No, man, please don't do that. <laughs> if you're on a survey asking what series. You want revival? No, they see that's the thing about it. They, it looks like they're asking about series to come back, not for a mashup. That's what I was. Reverend, that's what I got from it. But what the what the Reverend is saying, the quickest, the cheapest way to do it is to have a freaking mashup with the no, characters that were on the are on these lists and mentioned. But no, fuck that. Bring at bring back these franchises, make them bigger and better, but don't stray away. Don't make a 3D Streets of Rage. Please don't do that. Keep it 2D. In my opinion, keep that shit too deep. Please. Rage is another one. Mm. Bring back PSO. Yes. I, I, like I said, I, I'm. I, this this sounds like this this was sitting there saying, "Hey, look, they're they're interested in these these old franchises, these old characters." It sounds like something to get excited for, but the pessimistic, the pessimist in me and the realist in me is not is not very enthusiastic about it okay hey, wait because as gray mouse pointed out we've all been burnt like this before so <laughs> not only that but <laughs> you know, not, not only that but let's i'm just going to be honest when it comes to sega going out of their way and trying to retool and revamp old uh, older um uh franchises and series and stuff like that i've seen what happens when they do that you end up with stuff like Golden Axe Beast Rider or fucking ah! Public Altered, Altered Beasts. <laughs> All right. It's just, it doesn't, like I said, it, it, it doesn't sit well with me. Oh. Uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm oh, not God. reassured by this. Okay. I, I'm just saying, you know. Bring back the old, just bring back the old Golden Axe, the arcade version of Golden Axe and, and Altered Beasts and Golden Axe, the Revenge of the Death Adder, the arcade version that never hit home. Bring that shit. Ugh. 
Streets of Rage, yes, and and fucking Virtual On. The Typing of the Dead, bring that shit back. He said, Typing of the Dead. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I would, I would love to see some of this older stuff come back. I mean, like I said, even though it's a very Japanese list. What, they're going to do Snapchatting of the Dead this time? Wait a minute, I, get, I didn't even get any objections of that. What, Selfie of the Dead? Reload. <laughs> selfie of the Dead? Yeah, no. <laughs> Tweeting of the Dead? We're, we, well, no, 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 we need to, we need to come back. <laughs> no, but look, but all these franchises and, and fucking people that were on this list, yes, characters oh. that were on this list, bring them back, have, their, have them continue their franchises. I know a couple of them are shit out of luck. Like, okay, Shenmue, or even, Bayonetta. Or even Bayonetta. Bayonetta, yeah. yeah. Bayonetta. Yeah. You know, my Persona, because Atlas has that, so. Yeah, but but Atlas is owned by by Sega, so right. yeah, yeah. My final thoughts on this whole thing is that I, you know what I mean. I have to be a pessimist on this as well. I mean, like I said at the top of the video, we've been burned by a survey before, um, and whether or not Sega you know goes through with this, or maybe they just you know took a survey and they're, they're going to take the the survey and just put it in a vault somewhere and close the door and say, ha, 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 you know. We, we, we don't know, know what you want. Yeah, like, we know what you want. We're going to dangle the carrot. No, we're not going to give it to you. We're going we're gonna to put a, a carrot on the string. And yeah. No, but, you know, I mean, say, yeah, there's so many, there's so many, you know, not used IPs. You got a lot of, a lot of things out there that people are still interested in. And, you know, but the optimistic part of me wants to believe that Sega will come out. I mean, Persona, you know, is coming out, and um, that other game, uh, Yakuza, is coming out here soon. The next in the so that gives me a little bit of, you know, hope, I guess. But we'll okay. see. Time will tell. Yeah. And, and the, you know, and those were already titles that were in development already. So un unfortunately, it's not very affected by this survey. You know, um, you know, it's it's it's. It's odd, but you know, I, I hope for the best. The pessimist in me is telling me not to get my hopes up, um, and that's kind of where I'm going to stand at on this particular one. All right, um, is there any other other final thoughts on this one? Yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this one, folks. You know what? If uh, hopefully you're not as pessimistic about this particular thing that Sega is doing. In fact, if you're not as pessimistic, or if you are like I am, uh, we'd love to hear about it. You know, leave us a comment below. Tell us what you think about the, this particular uh, survey result and our thoughts on it, especially if you think we're missing something. Maybe we're, we're not expounding on something or maybe we're not expecting something that might happen. Uh, we'd appreciate to hear that, you know. Uh, if you're so kind, hit that like button, hit subscribe. You know, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We are the middle-aged guys. We've been bullshitting about Sega's new customer survey about what franchises and characters they want to, be, to bring back pre-2014. And all the bullshit on that particular thought pretty much ends here. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Dream House 1. Once again, for the benefits of common sense logic in gaming and bringing back gaming and characters, I hope, and not doing any garbage with them. No more Golden Axe, Beast Rider, or anything like that. <sighs> Credits. <laughs> <laughs>